Hey guys, just a quick reminder. Before we get into the video, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you'll be notified every time that I post. Thank you for your time. Hello guys, welcome back to the course. So here is where we left off on our last videos. And the, the, the goal for today is to build, let me open this image is to build this carousel here so today we're going to learn something very 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 exciting okay without further ado let's do it uh for now this is what we have a blank space here nothing special uh i would like to change at least the color of this icon let's give it a blue or green color just to differentiate it let me zoom oops let me zoom in here so it will be easier for you guys to see so where do we have that icon where is that where is that here about so now I'll just do color then I'll give it colors dot let's try it with blue comment save it just to make it different let's i didn't really like the blue let's try a green color okay it's fine do i need to change the color of these icons Mm, I'll just leave them like this. I'll at least go here and change the settings color. Oops, 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 oops. I have to do color. Then colors dot. Let's give it a blue color. Does it make any sense? I don't know. Uh, you guys will tell me if you like this or what. But okay, let's go. Let's go into the tutorial for today, which is carousel. Um, I'm just arranging the train for us to work. I would like to. Can you see this shadow here? I would like to remove this. I want this to be plain. So. In order to remove that, you'll come in here to the up bar. How is it? Elevation 0, 0.0. You see that now it's plain. I like this better. Or if you want, can give it 0 0.1. Maybe just a little bit. You can't really notice the difference, but still. I'll leave it 0 0.1 okay to build this carousel to build this carousel we'll need to get couple things ready uh, first of all let us go to Google and you write carousel pro this is it so man uh, all of the packages we are going to work with you just going to you just going to need to go to Google and write the name of the package or you can come directly to pubdirtlang.org and write the name of the package you go to installing then this is what you have to copy we copy this now we go back to our android studio let me open up this for now i'll put it on full screen in here what do you do you have to come to this file the pub spec file and just under the sdk flutter you're going to paste this dependence and you, you have to click 
package get sometimes you may get some problems here you just click it again and hopefully it's going to work but this is not pro that, that problem is not related to us but okay we have no problem we have um, finished with exit code zero means everything is working perfectly so what are we going to do now if you can see uh, let me open the image here we have making use of images I told you guys to okay just have to kill it get dependencies ah now we have that problem what is it saying a dependency only might have one source sometimes you may have this kind of problems and most of the times I'm not really sure what's the matter so let's give it space and now we have a problem let's try to indent this I don't really like this here the way you organize the things you write is important actually so most most of the times we get this kind of problems because of it indenting and stuff let me try to cut do my package get you see the problem is not related to us even though I removed that carousel pro we still have the problem like the problem remains okay at least now I just saved the file and I hit package get let's try to paste it again but asserting the indenting here and do it package get everything is working perfectly okay get update update dependencies let's see let's see let's see let's see and okay now it's working uh, you're going to face this kind of problems a lot with flutter and most of the times you're going to face all of the times you're going to face it while working with the pub spec file uh, the structure of this file is very sensitive like firstly I didn't indent like do you see here where we have flutter in the that same column is, is, is where the carousel pro has to start so before I had written this right above this SDK flutter that's why I was getting that error it's just a structure problem hopefully I was able to find what was the matter and I hope if you guys find a problem like this you will solve it just like I did okay now this is done let's get back to the video now we are going to do the following we are going to do import package carousel slash carousel pro dot dart okay and for now this is all you have to do um let's come down here right above the return we are going to create a we oh before 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 we do this in flutter i was forgetting we, we, we will have to use these images 
these are the carousel images right so in flutter when, when we want to use local image local images or these asset images you have to do something we have to write the location of those images inside this public spec file again right so how do you do that you have to come over here and you'll type assets make sure you indent it properly or else it's not going to work you're going to write images this first images is giving a reference to this folder this directory and then slash the file we're going to use will start with c1 for example c1 dot jp G package upgrade and see if it's going to work may take a couple seconds so work it did now we're going to use all of these images so after this we are going to repeat the process again images slash now we're going to write m1 dot jpeg and you have to do this process for all of these images here but since I already have this and to spare us some time I'm going to open my notes and I'm going to copy this you just have to repeat the same process over and over again I'm just doing this to spare some time. Then uh, we're going to do package upgrade. Wait for a couple seconds. And here we have it okay so let us let us start working now now what are we going to do uh, we're going to create a special widget widget as I told you at the beginning is anything existing on the screen so we are going to create a special uh, a special widget we are going to call that widget image carousels and then we are going to implement or to use that widget inside of our list view okay i don't need to talk about the future let's just do it uh the first thing you're going to do when you want to create a widget you have to define the object has a widget then you give the widget name okay so it's going to be widget just giving a reference that here we're going to create an a variable or object of type widget then so here is supposed to be capital Then we're going to give image carousel, which is the name of the widget. Then we're going to give new container. And this is the actual, the actual widget. Right? 
For the container, we have to give height 